frequent need to urinate at night, a weak or diminished stream, dripping after urinating, presence of blood in the urine, erectile dysfunction or impotence, frequent need to urinate at night, back pain or numbness in the legs. These are the seven silent symptoms of prostate cancer. If you or a loved one shows any of these, no matter how small, pay close attention. I'm about to explain how you can save your life if you act in time. The prostate is a small gland located beneath the bladder and surrounding the urethra in men. The prostate or prostatic gland produces seminal fluid, also known as semen. Semen is the substance that contains sperm that exits the urethra during male ejaculation. This distinction is important. Sperm or sperm cells are microscopic cells that contain a man's genetic material. The main goal of sperm is to fertilize the female egg. They are produced in the testicles and are responsible for half of the genetic material needed to create a new being. Semen, on the other hand, is the liquid that carries sperm. Semen provides a means to transport sperm from the penis during ejaculation. It contains nutrients and other substances that protect and nourish the sperm and facilitate its movement. Without it, it would be difficult for the sperm to achieve its ultimate goal of fertilizing the egg in the woman. The prostate is responsible for the expulsion of semen during ejaculation, closing the bladder's opening so it flows outward through the urethra. Have you noticed it's pretty much impossible to pee while the little guy is standing, right? This is because when erect, the prostate closes the bladder opening, and just like that, semen can't enter your bladder. Urine can't exit the bladder either. The prostate is definitely one of the most important and contributing glands in terms of our proliferation as a species. But like every organ and gland in our body, it can develop cancer. The prostate grows and functions thanks to testosterone and to dihydrotestosterone, DHT. An imbalance of these hormones causes benign prostate hyperplasia, prostate enlargement, or even contributes to the development of prostate cancer. Even so, unfortunately, doctors do not know for sure. We don't know exactly why prostate cancer occurs, but we definitely know who is at high risk of developing this disastrous disease. If you or a loved one meet even one of the following characteristics, you definitely have to pay special attention. Let's start with dopamine, and especially those over 50, dark skin. Someone in your family has or had prostate cancer. Obesity. These are the seven silent symptoms of prostate cancer explained in detail. It's crucial to understand why each occurs. First, the need to urinate very frequently. The prostate surrounds a part of the urethra, the duct through which urine exits the bladder. As prostate cancer grows, it puts pressure on the urethra. What makes the normal flow of urine difficult? This leads to a feeling of needing to urinate more frequently, as the bladder does not empty completely with each urination. Second, a weak or diminished stream, the bladder has a muscle called the detrusor, which contracts to expel urine. If the urethral obstruction persists for an extended period, it can affect the function of this muscle, reducing its ability to create a strong flow. Third, dripping after finishing urinating. This is particularly uncomfortable since you think you are done urinating. You pull up your pants and suddenly urine starts to drip again as the force of the stream is diminished. And if there's a blockage of the urine flow, it doesn't fully empty. And when you change position, it slowly drains out due to gravity. Fourth, blood in the urine. The tumor causes inflammation and damages the blood vessels near the prostate, leading to blood in the urine. This is not always noticeable. So sometimes a urine test is needed to confirm if there are red blood cells in it. Erectile dysfunction or impotence. The nerves responsible for erection. They are very close to the prostate. These are damaged by its abnormal and uncontrolled growth. Sixth, the need to urinate frequently at night. A bladder that can't fully empty is a bladder that fills up quickly. It leads to the bladder filling up while you're sleeping making you go to the bathroom multiple times. Seventh, lower back pain and numbness in the legs. When cancer grows, 
It presses on nerves affecting the sensitivity of these areas, causing you to feel weakness in these zones or a tingling sensation. Fortunately, there are protocols that allow for the early detection of prostate cancer and when discovered at its initial stage. Surgery and chemotherapy may not be necessary. These are the ages at which you should go to the doctor to assess if you need to look for prostate cancer. 40 years old. For men at very high risk, such as those with more than one first-degree relative who had prostate cancer before the age of 65. 45 years. For men at high risk, such as men of black skin and men with a first-degree relative diagnosed at an age younger than 65 years. 50 years. For men with an average risk of prostate cancer and expected to live at least 10 more years, the relationship between diet and the risk of prostate cancer has been the subject of numerous scientific studies. Although the results may vary and in some cases may be inconclusive, you should make it feel enjoyable. However, certain foods and dietary patterns have been supported by stronger scientific evidence in their potential. To reduce the risk of prostate cancer, this includes tomatoes and lycopene. Tomatoes are rich in lycopene, an antioxidant. Several studies have suggested that lycopene is associated with a reduced risk of prostate cancer. Lycopene absorption improves with cooking and when consumed with a healthy fat source. Cruciferous vegetables like broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts and kale that contain compounds such as sulforaphane and indoles have been studied for their potential cancer protective effects. Fatty fish. Eating fish high in omega-3 fatty acids, such as salmon, sardines, and herring, has shown in some studies a potential to lower the risk of prostate cancer. Although the results are not conclusive, green tea contains catechins, which have been researched for their antioxidant properties and their possible role in reducing the risk of prostate cancer. Soy and soy-based foods, rich in isoflavones, have been studied for their potential protective effect against prostate cancer, though the results are mixed. Pomegranate, though less studied than other foods, pomegranate and its extracts have shown in some research antioxidant and anti-proliferative properties. Don't forget to visit my channel for kids, Tuvi Kids. There, we educate this generation's children with values that will make them better people and give them tools to face the present. Up next, you'll find two short documentaries that you'll surely find interesting. See you in the next one. A hug.